Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy the Golden Boy and today we are back on Apex Legends and today what I'm going to be showing you guys is what a 20 KD overall looks like in Apex Legends and no I'm not just making that number up or pretty much using it off the top of my head. I do have a 20, I think 21 or a 22 KD in Apex Legends at the moment in time. Uh, it probably varies and goes up and down a little bit depending on like the day I have. Like if I have a rougher day it probably goes down by like one or two. And then uh, if I have a better day, it probably goes you know up by one or two. It depends on how many kills you're dropping throughout the day and how many times you're dying throughout the day. Now, if you guys want to see what your KD is, it's pretty simple. Or at least, I guess, it's not going to be completely accurate. But it's going to be very, very close to accurate when it comes to uh, looking up what your KD is. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your games played. And you divide that by the amount of uh, kills that you have. And then you subtract the amount of wins from that. So if you have, I have 1,200 uh, games played with 550 wins, I think. And then I have uh, 13,500 kills. So what I would do is I would take the 1,200 uh, and subtract that from, or I would take the 550 wins that I have and subtract that from the 600, or the 1,200, I mean. And that would have 650 or around there. And then I would divide that by my kills, so 13,500. But also, you're going to want to add a few uh, few more wins to that because it doesn't count your wins when you're by yourself and you're by yourself at the end of the game and you won the game and you have no teammates. For some reason, I don't understand why there's not like a regular win counter. There's the win with full squad. And I know for a fact I have at least 50, maybe even like more, but I'm not going to like gas myself up that much and, you know what I mean, just overshoot it. I'm, I pretty much just add 50 wins total to my already 550 so i just bring it to 600 so i just divide it in half honestly because i know for a fact i've won at least 50 games by myself because i play solos a lot and my team never stays at the end or i'll have like maybe one guy at the end if i'm lucky but most of them just back out which is you know understandable but i, d I definitely add like 50 or 40 to that and then i divide that 600 by my amount of kills which is 13,500. and uh when people get uh, mixed up is their average kills per game and their KD. So my average kills per game is 11, 11 kill, 11 point like two kills, 11.3 kills per game. And it would be like, oh, I have 11 KD. And that's what I thought at first. And I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. Like that doesn't sound right at all. So I went back and I was like, what happens when you just don't die throughout the game? You know what I mean? Cause when you win a game with 20 kills, say you get a 22 kill game and you win, it doesn't count as a death. So you go into your next game, you win 15 kills. And then you go in your next game and win 10 kills. You'll be at, you know what I mean, like 40, whatever it is, or 30, whatever it is. And then uh, and then you die, and then that would add as a death. And then say you die right off the bat again, and then you divide that by two, you know. So overall, like, overall it does average out 20 as a kind of a high KD. But for a Battle Royale, it's not really that high in my mind. I mean, it's still pretty high, but not as high as I'd expect mine to be. Because a 20 KD in a Battle Royale... Isn't that insane because of how many kills I drop per game, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I usually drop 15 plus kills every single game, especially in solos and stuff. I get at least 15 kills. And even when I die, I have 11 to 15 kills when I die. So it kind of averages out even if I do lose the game and I, you know, throw that death on the combat record. But that's pretty much how you get your KD. You just you grab the amount of games played that you have, subtract your wins from that, and then divide that by the amount of kills that you have overall. And then you can check out your KD. And uh, I'm also going to be going over the 20 bomb winner today. I'm going to be picking the winner today, doing the video today, and uploading it either tomorrow or the next day. I've been pretty, I don't know if I've been sick or allergies or what, but my nose and my allergies and stuff have just been kicking throughout the roof, man. Like, I've been having a runny nose, like, 24-7 and sneezing and coughing and all that kind of shit. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take the day or two off. So that's why I haven't uploaded in the past, like, two days. So hopefully you guys understand. I'm going to try to get a little bit better when it comes to, like, my fucking my nose and shit but uh hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video it's a 25 kill game uh pretty much yeah that's pretty much what a 20 uh kd looks like in this game you guys can see how much how sweaty i am as a 20 kd player i guess you could say but hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out
Whole squad down. Very awesome. It's not safe here.
down. Catching myself up. Making contact with enemy. Enemy down. Apex Champions.